Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Prism last episode. We helped the police by going undercover trying to find a pallet patrol and capture him. We did that and once we did it we battled the fifth gym leader, got our fifth gym badge which is pretty cool. And now we've head somewhere I don't know, we're going to go exploring but before we do that, we're in Spurge City and you're probably wondering why are we here right now? Well, it's finally time, I've got enough orphan points and we are going to get that Riolu. I had to capture so many Pokemon and uh... Yeah, we can finally get a Riolo. It's, I think it's going to be level 1 or level 5, maybe even level 10. It's going to take a lot of training to do, but we got a Riolo. Everyone's been asking me to get this Pokemon since like episode 3 or 4, and we're finally going to get it. There you go. Yes, I'm going to adopt this uh, Riolo. Thank you. Please take good care of it. Ooh, looks so cool. Alright, give it a nickname. Yes, we will. And we're going to call it... Well, I always call my Lucario's because it reminds me of my uh, my second dog, Zeus. All right, let's check this uh, Riolo out. Hopefully, it's pretty decent. Level 15, okay. Not bad. Foresight, Reversal, Agility, and Metal Claw. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. Right, so we're gonna have to train this up a lot, and we're gonna have to fly all the way back to. The town we were in, which I forgot the name of, but we need to get Pidgey out the box. Because right now we don't have a flying type. I think if I find a decent Pokemon that can with isn't a flying type, I'll replace someone on the team, but right now I don't know who. Or what. So let's fly back. I think I know the way I have to go. Probably the way towards where we found the Palette Patrol the last episode. And it was I think it's this town? Was it here? Yeah, the town that isn't done yet. With a pretty cool soundtrack. I like this uh, music in this town. Alright, let's pause it. Uh, Pidgey, and we will get Riolu back. Gotta do a lot of switch training. It's gonna be super fun. But once we get Lucario, whew, our team's gonna get like a lot better. Alright, let's go. So I assume we wanna go. Is it this cave? Is that the gym? Well, actually, while we're here in the gym, we got Rock Smash now, and I'm pretty sure there was a boulder over here. You can smash. It's in a different cave, yeah. So, I think I already taught someone Rock Smash. Yeah. I think Gatorade's gonna have to be our HM slave. It knows Cut, Rock Smash, it will learn Surf, probably uh, Dive or Waterfall if we need it. And it just leads to uh, Calcium. Alright, not bad. Got a pretty cool Calcium. Let's get back out. That was worth coming in here, I guess. So the way we want to go, I assume, well actually maybe we can go south as well because there was that rock we could break. We couldn't surf. But I'm pretty sure the way to go is this way. Towards the Firelight Caverns, I believe it was. Route 85. So we beat all the trainers around here, or well, most of them. I want to smash that rock, get this item, which is a TMO4 rollout. Sweet. Yeah, we found the pallet patroller like here, so let's go forward and yeah, the only way to go for, uh, to this place is for Rock Smash. I'm guessing this is the way to go because we just learned Rock Smash. Well, got Rock Smash and learned how to use it. Fire oh wow, this place is really red. A Slugma level 27. Ooh. Thank you for missing, I'm going to switch that with that so Aqua Jack can just spam it faster. Revive. Also, someone actually did tell me that in Firelight Caverns, if you interact with, like, random rocks... Oh, you might be able to find a Firestone. Okay. But I think you need, a uh, Oh. Uh, access for this. Mine and Picks. Which... I think we're probably gonna run out now, or very soon. Let's get some more. Yeah, lots of stuff. Firestone, yes! Woo! We can now get a Ninetales. Oh yeah, yeah. That's so good. Woo! I don't know when... When should we evolve Vulpix and a Ninetales? Like, the problem with like some Pokemon that evolve through Evolution Stones... I have never ever in my... What? I'd say 18, 19 years playing Pokemon since like Red and Blue first came out. I have never known the best time to ever evolve a Pokemon for a stone. Like, I usually wait about level 40. That's what I usually do. 
But I think it depend maybe depends on the Pokemon, because you want to, like, learn certain moves and stuff. I think, like, Growlithe learns, like, Flamethrower at 44, maybe? Stuff like that, but... For Ninetales, I have no idea. To be fair, Ninetales is, uh... No one extracting it. Got no more mining picks, but we got the fire on the last one. We can jump over that because we got the shoes. Aha! I say small gaps like that we can jump over. Because a couple episodes back, we got uh, the shoes from that little puzzle. Aqua Jet there. Lots of XP for Yolu. Ooh! What is that? What Pokemon is that supposed to be? I don't say it looks like a bit like Entei with a face, but I doubt it. Oh, it's a statue of a fierce Pokemon. Strangely holding out its arms. Ooh. A gift from someone. I say, I want to give it a hug. The gift of hugs. <laughs> uh, Ponytail, let's just run away from you. Shot run away, sorry. Switch out and then just take you out. Gatorade doesn't get a lot of XP in here. And so is Aerolu, I guess, which is a lot of training. On the side, we got a... Magmarizer. Not bad. So we went this way, we need a minor pick. Let's go through here. About this dude. Calling yourself cool in your moniker, you'd see it as arrogant. Nope. Okay. Ooh, Hound Hour. I think once we get Riolu to about 27, I'd say we can start using him maybe around here. I meant to switch out, but do it for the Graveler. Although, I'm going to stay because I want to just heal up and take this thing out. We don't have to keep running back so often just to heal up. Oh, critical hit. You would get a critical hit, wouldn't you? And sturdy, that's what I was scared of, but it's fine. Right, let's heal up after this battle. Every time I think I need to heal up, I always think, let's heal up during the battle. It's the best, it's the best thing to do. It never is. <laughs> Obviously, I know it's not the best thing, but like... My mind just thinks, oh, I'll do it during a battle, it's fine. It's terrible, I'm terrible like that. Oh, hi, why are you blocking the path? Young one, please, can you help? Ugh, I can't move. My friend possesses a strong body made of steel. Be able to carry me home? Please, could you bring him here? He's currently at our home on Route 80. Likely taking a rest. Please hurry. So let me write that down. So we need to head to Route 80 and find a guy. Okay. To carry him back. Uh, I don't know where Route 80 is, but let's finish exploring this uh, cave. There's a um, coffin. Let's run away from that. How oh, can I escape? Uh oh. Oh, okay. Go for that if you want. I want to take it out. Oh yeah, someone told me as well that uh, some Pokemon types in this game has changed because you've got, obviously you've got the sound type, the gas type, and there's another one. Uh, oh, Karate Chop, yeah. So I don't know the type weaknesses and strengths just yet. I need to learn that, but. I've been told gas is weak to fire, which obviously makes sense, but that's why um, Ember was super effective against them gaslies before, because it was part of gas, it was ghost gas. I like the new types, it's pretty cool. Alright, let's grab this and then battle you. See human in here? I'm about to break a sweat. Ooh, that's good. Right, so we'll get this item, go down, look down there, head to Route 80 I guess. We've got to head back to town, get the Pidgey, head to Route 80, find the guy, go back here, he'll save the day, or he'll move, and then, yeah, we're good. Good to go. Oh, 34, oh. Okay. Oh, I forgot I got rid of, um, Razor Leaf. It's not a problem, though. Now we're 21, six levels already, we're getting there. We're getting there. And then we'll go for a nice rock throw. Whew. We really need to heal up. Alexa, let's go for an antidote as well. Go for that stupid poison. Wait, what? Oh, I can't carry any more items. That's why. Ah, oh. you can't carry items anymore. Let's give that to Lilith. Get she poison again. Pick that up. Right, so let's go down here. Oh, this place is so big. The lava tide has been known to rise to right where we're standing. We're living on the edge here. Then let's not have a battle here because the lava rises. We are dead. 
think I'm dead, dude. Oh god, the burn. The burn, let me switch out. Screech, no, you don't want to learn Screech. Uh, switch out. Into Zeus, so we don't get hit by the burn. Then we're going to Laxus. Spot doesn't do too much. Oh, sound Ballad. Not too much either. But Paralysis, goodbye Arcanine. Aaron. Oh, I think it might do a bit of damage to me. Uh oh, uh oh. Better put it to sleep, better put it to sleep. Doesn't affect him, sweet. Will a wisp, burn. Confuse ray. Sweet. I think burn might kill me, yep. <laughs> We're getting there eventually. Hopefully, uh, Riolu can finish it off. Or we can kill it now, I should know. Zeus and Burn kill it. Or the XP, 24. Nice. Need to avoid some battles now. Although if I lose, it's not a big problem because obviously I'm in the back of the Pokemon Center where I want to go. What's this? Confuse Guard. Can't carry any more items. Of course we can't. I need to sell them nuggets. Do I still have the nuggets? Yeah, I have two nuggets I can sell. Got two rare candies. Okay, let's continue on. Ooh. Minecarts. They can take us around places to other uh, caves, which is really cool. How do we get that item up there? We have to go all the way around. Like so, and we're gonna get a PM11 sunny day. Hey. So I think that leads us back out of here, which we don't want to do. No, maybe not. Oh, I can't avoid that guy. Oh, I'm gonna have to revive her. Uh... Oh, I'm just gonna battle him. Screw it. We can do it. Probably not, actually. Probably not. What have I got? Have I got Laxus as well. Okay, let's heal up. Laxus would have been a good idea. Don't want Raylo to die because of happiness. We need to keep it high. Hit sweet. 37. Heal up again, I'm gonna use a hyper. Gonna have to use it. Ooh, I thought I, cho I, thought I chose uh, Zeus then. I thought I chose the wrong Pokemon, I was so lucky. And a Flareon. We got this. Lax is too strong. Lax is way too strong. I think that's the way we came down. Black glasses, okay, so we wanna. Uh... We came down from this way, didn't we? Yeah, in that corner, so. Let's go. Back to the top left. Step away from things. Yes, avoid you, and we can't avoid you. Let's lead off Alexis for now and just destroy everyone. All right, let's go, lady. What you got? Oh, okay, we're gonna lose. We are gonna lose this. Or not. Sparks seem to do quite a bit of damage. Hey! And the paralysis. Oh my god, Laxus is way too strong. Laxus cannot be stopped. Oh my goodness, he is too strong. Laxus is easily like the best Pokemon on the team, 100%. Not because he's, you know, the strongest, but it's just so good. Such a decent, powerful Pokemon. Take all these out. He's easily, easily going to level 40 by the end of this uh, cave. He's level 39 now if we beat this. Ooh, just about. Thunderfang. How are you allowed Thunderfang? I don't know. Oh, I can't see the, the strengths of it. 
Here at Thunder Shock, because Thunder Fan will be at Thunder Shock, I think. That's a dead end. Oh, at the cave. Okay, we're in Provincial Park. Getting Gligas around here. Which we don't really want to battle. Let's look like at the map. So we're here. Where's Route 80? 80 is all the way here? Okay. So we have to make it. I thought Route 80 would be like back out of the cave. I almost wanted to leave the cave just to try and find Route 80, but I didn't realize it was on the other side because we went through Route 85. I thought, you know, get out of the cave will be at Route 86, but no. Okay. So we want to head right, I guess. I would love to find a person that can heal me up, like a nurse lady or anything like that. I'm gonna pop a repel, there's too many Pokemon around here. Way too many. Uh, repel, repel, repel. Okay, there we go. Is it dead end? Oh, we need cut. Wait, is this where we came out from? Yeah. So we want to go right. It's like up and right. Yeah, through here. This should lead to Route 80. Is there a Pokemon Center around here? If not, I've got an idea. Oh, there is a Pokemon Center, good. I thought it just looked like there might be a Pokemon Center around by. You look like a Team Rocket guy. No, I'm not Rocket anymore. I wear this purely for nostalgia purposes. It's when I was in the prime of my life. Oh, okay. Just got GPS support for my phone. Hey. We're at 32.206359. 134.341771. Cool, huh? Very cool. I bet if you put them coordinates into Google, something happens. Like, if I if I remember, I'll do it. But if you're watching this video, go onto Google right now. Type in them coordinates and see where it takes you. I bet it takes you somewhere like, like Area 51 or something. I don't know, I think that'd be pretty cool to see. We want to go right, I think, to Route 81. Alright, let's go Jasmine. Oh, no, hurt myself. And I kill myself with Blitz, sweet. Let's go Zeus, almost level 25. Let's go into Raptor. Haha, <laughs> shed skin. Well, Lewis ain't gonna welcome me, my friend. Not today. Bullet punch, ooh, bullet punch come in handy. By counter hate counter reverse and that sort of stuff. I was actually quite happy with how fast Riolu's growing levels. Like, damn. Does it get boosted XP or is it just normal XP? I have to look. Right. Gain that. No, it's no boost XP, it's just a lot of XP. Let's go with Riolu. I want to try to get level 40. That would be like a really good level to get. Maybe a bit too OP now, I think, about because Laxus is... Oh. You want to go? Let's go, dude. Level 36? Maybe no. Maybe 40 is a good level to go. Uh, let's just get Laxus to 40 now, then. Be this Kadabra, we might get 40. Kalia... 37 now. Wow, they are very, very tough. 40. Great. Let's go heal up again. We need a lot of grinding. I feel like every new area I get to in this game, I need to do a butt ton of grinding. Alright. Route 80. Ooh, okay. Wait, what is that? Let me uh, just save the game. Hi. This Pokemon sounds concerned. Tugging your foot, and expectantly, I suppose it wants to tag along. Okay, what is that? What Pokemon is that supposed to be? Let's go and uh, put a Pokemon in the box, go and take it. Like, what is that Pokemon? Like, I can't even tell. Because that, you know, the old Gen 2 graphics and stuff, just like... Uh, who should I put away? Who should I put away? I don't, I don't know who should put away. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I like my team. I really like my team as it is. Like, I don't want to get rid of anyone. I'll put Pewter just for now. Just for now. He's going to come back on the team in a second. He's going to grab this Pokemon and see what it is. And then, uh... 
Yeah. What are you? What is this? Oh, it's an level 40 Agron? Ooh. Okay. That is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Wait, did that old man want a Pokemon or did he want uh, his friend? Oh, I bet this is the. I bet I need to bring the aggro to that man, don't I? I bet that's what he was talking about. He said Route 80 and we can't go any further on Route 80. So I'm guessing. This is the Pokemon we. Okay. So we can't keep the aggro, I don't think. I don't think. I really hope. I really hope we can because. Potential team member right there because that's going to be pretty good. Pretty good, but. Let's go take it to the uh, old man. And if that's not the right thing to do, then uh, I don't know what is. All right, let's do pop there and then. Right, I'm gonna pop a rappel. I'm gonna cut to and get to the old man. So I'll see you guys in a second. Right, we are back. Here's the old man. Are uh, your friend? Thank goodness. That is the aggro. I should give him the aggro. Oh, can't I keep it, please? Oh man. Thank you. My friend will now return me home. However, I still need your help. At the end of this tunnel lie the resting grounds of a powerful Naojo Guardian. Fools wearing the traditional Naojo garbs are trying to revive it. The desire to awaken the Naojo Guardians in order to bring Naojo back to what it used to be hundreds of years ago. They don't know what the Guardians will uh, kill. Don't know if the Guardians will kill everyone in Naojo who don't possess the bloodline of the first Naojo generation. Innocent people and Pokémon will all perish if it wakes up. Please stop them at all costs. All right. Well. We're definitely going to do that. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to do a little bit of grinding because I think we need to. So I'll see you guys next time. We're going to head and try and stop the people from awakening the Guardians. Have a great day. Peace.